Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs? How are you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with me, Shirley Mimi, where you get the gist. As it they do waiting, as it they hurt. Of course, you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If it snows, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat long thing? Kindly post right there, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see they're hot. Guys, I'm at this with you guys. I love the dress um, Sissy was putting on on the dinner yesterday. And also, this is by arguing with Soma that they won over the power oil tax. That's the men versus the ladies. That The day of that tax, if you remember vividly, the argument no be here on who cooked more, more than the guys or the ladies. It was quite an interesting one. So, they collected, the ladies collected their win yesterday. Coming from Fireboy's wife, BBN fans never rest. They are yet to reveal the BBN girl associated with Igalos and they will have to defend. Lay said, stop mentioning names. Just mind your business. Who knows? It can be your fave. Just face front. Guys, guess what? Hey, fan base is the shiver. Like, then they shiver. Like, say they get a fever. <laughs> what happened? Because of... Uh, <clears throat> Footballer's wife, Iralo's wife, actually said something. Let's just read it direct from the horse's mouth. She said, tell the world how I changed your life from being audience being list player to the person you are today. Tell the world, if not me, you for no smell United Kingdom, Watford FC to be precise. Your pathway to stardom, at least your agent is still alive to talk if I lie. Tell the world how I helped your immediate elder bro to Europe and gave him documents. Tell the world how I helped you in your last nation's call after we got humiliated in Russia 2008. Tell the world who Adesua is to you. You all wonder why this man won't let me go despite our separation. I see people saying he has moved on. Move on to where? Someone who is currently angry because I am in a relationship. Laura Olosho's be defending, thinking he will wifey them. Wahala. <laughs> Man gives daily reports of you all. How he dated a Niger actress and was like, I just take my share inside. Dated DJ and was like, that one will be Olosho to do like to do like baby. She always wants to associate with the rich. Your fave BBN girl. Now go see bag. I take enter that one. <laughs> How Syria alone designer got hospitalized after posting their lovey dovey video on IG. Wish you all good luck though. Now it is that of the BBN housemate. People took personal they like. Who is the BBN fave that they use Gucci bag Gucci? Now Gucci they use black on her fave. So the social space is actually trembling. Oh, hope they will not call the name. Hope it's not this. Some people are suspecting to be between Urel and Tolani Bad because somebody said this woman once called that Urel. Anyways, we still they wait, they check. If she call out, fine. If she not call out, hell of us, meal. By the way, we are all in perfect beam, right? Okay. All right, if you are a Soma gang, this is for you. Gang, gang, Soma gang and lovers of Soma Apex. Today is all about our mega project. So let's challenge ourselves today. Send something to the project account. Drop your receipts and tag three other gangers to do same. Let's go. Soma gang, mega project for the love of Soma. So if your Soma gang project is ongoing, okay, for Soma. If you not get, no do pass yourself. For well, you know, I always preach that. Because, hmm. I know why I'm saying what I'm saying. You know. No go do pass yourself. Oh. This is coming from New Energy. To let you guys know that the celebrity lifestyle is not for the faint-hearted. He said, from the airport straight to another movie set, I am getting used to it. To this, sorry. And then Naomi Naomi said, the Lord will give you more grace to carry on. Just love him. More grace, my G. This is to tell you, somebody came just from the airport straight to movie set. Same thing that happened to Bai. I think she, she did not even go to her hotel or anything. I think straight from Worry, um, once they got back from Worry, she did not even go to her house or something she just went straight to where the um event was happening yes people find ways to blame her for how she was dressed anyways talking about um cc neil replied and said can't wait to disturb singapore with he, this gang 
oh, no, two don't they spell Singapore like fans because now they use this name to spell Singapore. No time at all because this particular trip really, really shakes head. And I can't wait for that trip to occur so that we'll see how it is going with the selected people CC chose. Talking about CC, congratulations have been pouring for her. I think it is safe to say she's amongst the Oscar's housemate who is packing gigs like nobody's business. Ace said, CC the influencer, you have you have not even finished one job, you have started another one. Star power. CC remains their mother. CC the only legit boss chick. Ha! See the way you now put it, the only legit boss chick, because of course you all know Mercy calls herself Mercy the boss chick. Which one is CC the Hi? Must you guys this just to hype your faith? If mercenaries come now, it could be like say that they find trouble. Congratulations, CC, on your endorsement as the brand ambassador of Cassie Hair. CC remains their mother. CC the oh. I think it's a hashtag for them. The only legit boss chick. But now they calm down. Or you guys just need to be calming down because your faves are winning, by the way. If your faves are winning, what is the essence? Eh? What is the essence of all these things? Look now they calm down. Um. All right. Um, Colby said, there is one reason why I love this two more than everybody I have stand. They aren't noisy. They are very unproblematic and focused. Guys, you have said this. That is CC and T-Boss. T-Boss of the um, Seagull Bay season and then CC of the Double Wahala season. Do you think they are quite unproblematic? Let me know what you think about those two. Meanwhile, see them um, T boss during her season no more. He choke to the extent that each of the housemates, both CC Thatcher, they were saying they are trying to copy T boss style. Anyways, guys, this is the main gist of this video. This is a Baye tribe, a guy from Baye tribe. He wrote a very long episode, which we're gonna be reading together. Let's see what this entails. Dear Ile Baye Odinaya, wrap it up. To start with, I want to express how much I admired and supported you during your time in the Big Brother house. It was evident to everyone on the timeline that I was a dedicated fan and cheered you on throughout your journey. I want to take a moment to address a concern many of us who are your conservative fans and admirers have, have regarding your choice of dressing and the urge to appear as a Gen Z body. I acknowledge that fashion is a form of self-expression and people should have the freedom to dress in a way that makes them feel comfortable and confident. However, it is equally important to consider the cultural and societal norms of the environment in which we live, Nigeria. Being a Okay, being a conservative society has specific expectations regarding appropriate attire. Many of us hold traditional values and beliefs and we find your Gen Z dresses extremely distasteful and disgusting. Hey, wahala! While it is admirable to embrace contemporary fashion trends and strive to appear as a Gen Z body, it is important to strike a balance that respects the cultural sensitivities of our society. I am calling on you and your stylist hey, wahala, to find ways to express your unique style while also being mindful of your other audience that are conservatives. You don't need to appear naked before we know that you are a Gen Z. Oh, Chimo, guys, when are they listening? Are you guys <laughs> now? There is a difference between that. Um, this has been coming from um, what was it called? From people, but this one is coming directly from a Baye tribe who is known to have voted for her during her season in the All Stars house. So, guys, this is it. Let's finish it up first off. Be yourself and don't feel pressured into dressing a type of way that you think represents your Gen Z brand. You can be covered up. And still be classy. Tio Abu Agada. Hey, Wahala, Mr. Tio, you really don't write for hell. All this A piece to for Ile Baye's dressing. This is to tell you guys that Ile Baye really they hold everybody on choke code because not even just other fan bases, but also her fan her fan base too. So are you a Baye tribe? What do you think about what Tio just wrote? Let's see some reactions. Coming from Tunes, she said, What gives this man the audacity to speak on what a woman should wear and not wear? on her own body guys <laughs> let me know what you think about this so do you think this call out is okay or do you think it is quite not okay or do you think what do you just think or do you think he wouldn't have sp spit it on the social space tell me what you think in the comment section i would really love to hear from you guys most especially most especially non by okay the by tribe and the non by tribe because i don't want anybody to speak from the side of stanship i want to see, hear people speak on a neutral ground now these are the replies on the guys um comments this person called ile Baye, a name up there which i'm gonna skip 
And this person said, Dear Tio Abu, to start with, please don't you see her dressing in the house? So why are you not acting blank? Because I am not understanding this, your composition later. She legit dressed like this in the house. So save your episode for your daughters and sister, you cloud chaser. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's true. Mile Baye did not just come outside the house and start dressing this way. You know, right from the house. She was dressing this way. And there is something I said uh, that somebody also come to the comment section and was telling me that what I said was wrong and disgusting, blah, blah, blah. I said something. Somebody said about age, that her dressing like this had to do with age. And now I was like, I do not think age is influencing her. I think this is how she chose to dress. When you were at her age, was this your dress sense? That is my question. Everybody has the way they choose to dress. It's not putting it on age. I don't know if you guys do not get sometimes and you just want to come for somebody. But she was dressing like this while she was in the house now. You saw her this way before you supported her. She is not starting to dress the, this way now. Now, Well, she will hear your advice. Thank you. I choco. Like she wasn't wearing something similar while on the show. Lord, on her eyes, just they clear now. But obviously, she was dressing that same way in the house. Chebi Sheyi said, Bae and Enja are the least dressed as me. That Bae, you know, they wear up to a yard. That's what they said. Yo, Tio, apparently, you didn't pay attention to Ile Bae's dressing in the house. Tio Abu Sanjo, the great little writer our time. Now, this dress or another one, Tio. This person said they don't even understand. And then Tone said, yo, this write-up disgusts me so bad. Omo, the guy took out his time, wrote a full episode, all because of Ile Baye's dress sense. This one really took. And to, to sum it up, that he is a Baye uh, tribe. Interesting. And this is Panach. Panach is a Spartan. You forget that that is how she dresses when she was in the house. Because Big Brother told her not to dress up and make her hair. You think it suits your narrative. Congratulations are in order. Open letter, Shani. All time like Obasanjo. But meanwhile, you see this, um, some CC fans. I don't understand you guys. Oh. How would you guys say Biggie told Ileba not to make her hair dress in a certain way? Do you guys think Biggie would just have a favorite person to win? Oh my, oh, they surprised me. Oh. It is that mindset that is still making me feel some type of way for where some um, where some uh, Spartans are. Because why would you even think that way? Anyways, coming from Howard, them don't remove me from our Gen Z body group. Oh. Now, bad thing to talk through. I've been now by force say all of us go support nudity and immoral dressing. Ni. Una buy Biko, I know even they active for the group before, Seth. Now, this is it. I have been this person. I've been a fan of person who's always tell you guys that if your faith, if you think your faith is doing what you do not like, say it out. That does not mean you do not stand them. So, I love it that some bio tribe are coming out and say, oh, I do not like the way Ile Baye is dressing. That does not mean they still do not love her. That is the kind of person I am. Now, this is making me to love some bio tribe more because they were able to come out and say, see, I don't like this thing. No. But approach also does matter. That is just the thing. Coming from Prince Maxwell, to be honest, I used to think Ara star dressed indecent until Gen Z body came on board. This lady called Ile Baye automatically changed Ara star to Eleha. <laughs> okay, if you don't know what Eleha is, those Muslims that cover up their face and everything. Anyways, guys, what do you think about all of this? Let me know in the comment section. This time around, is not from um, outside about a Baye tribe calling out Baye. Tell me what you think about this. I'll be listening to you guys in the comment section. Thank you so much for always selling with me and make sure you're having a great Tuesday. And do not forget to always put smile on that beautiful faces of yours. Bye for now, guys.